Thank you, Rick. I appreciate it. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to my presentation on an interesting and exciting Iowa manure cycle exhibit. It's really interesting to note how this all came about because a manure exhibit uh, really wasn't on our public relations radar at that time. The exhibit actually was the result of an offer uh, that we received from the Des Moines Blank Park Zoo which happened to be hosting the Traveling Scoop on Poop exhibit during the summer of 2007, actually from Memorial Day through the Labor Day weekend. The Traveling exhibit, uh, based on a book by popular science writer Dr. Wayne Lynch, explored what animal manure or poop is and, and how animals use it, uh, from building homes and sending messages to cooling off and attracting a mate. The dung beetle, of course, was one of the featured animals in the scoop on poop, as were bears and many other animals. Uh, the zoo approached the Iowa Pork Producers Association about a sponsorship of the exhibit and also the opportunity to have our own exhibit. Uh, we contacted several other commodity groups to gauge interest and surprisingly found that everyone was interested. Uh, Iowa Pork then partnered with 12 other commodity groups and organizations including the Iowa Department of Agriculture and Land Stewardship, to sponsor the Iowa Manure Cycle Exhibit in conjunction with the Scoop on Poop at the zoo. It took several weeks of meetings and planning, as you might expect, but all the groups recognized this was an excellent opportunity to educate the public about the value of livestock manure in Iowa, uh, how it's used, how it's regulated, and how it adds to the needed nutrients to cropland. The exhibit features five separate interactive kiosks that tell the story of Iowa's manure cycle. Uh, li livestock provides the manure, farmers manage that manure, and the crops use the manure, all in a very sustainable cycle, which was the underlying theme. It's designed to help children and adults investigate the value of manure in Iowa's robust livestock industry and the impact that cow, pig, chicken, turkey, and sheep manure have on growing Iowa crops for feed, food, and fuel. Uh, in the exhibit, we use, utilize flip covers, vertical sliders, audio, and push button technology in the kiosks. Um, audio is used to signal correct and incorrect answers. The first kiosk serves as a general introduction to the exhibit, as you can see here. Visitors can take an activity card containing photos of manure from pigs, cows, chickens, and turkeys to each of the other four kiosks to match the manure with the species, and then emboss the card with the animal stamp on each kiosk that matches the manure. The other four kiosks each address a particular subject, uh, feed, animals, responsible manure use, and manure value. Uh, we feature the different livestock and poultry species, uh, test tubes containing grains, feed, and byproducts that make up the manure of the animals are provided, as well as actual manure samples from the different species. It was interesting how um, the design company prepared and preserved the manure samples shown in this slide. Uh, a procedure that essentially baked each sample was performed to dry it out. The samples were then placed on a wooden frame and preserved with a large quantity of pourable resin to protect and make the samples visible. Uh, the resin was then polished with car wax. You can get a little better idea of how it looks in that left photo there. The exhibit includes interesting facts about livestock manure and fun, interactive educational activities. And the kids really uh, seem to enjoy this. The display was designed after the CSI TV series, and we called it actually the Poop Cycle Investigation. The children who completed all the tasks could become a certified Poop Cycle Investigator and receive a license that verified their knowledge of Iowa's manure cycle. An embosser was attached to one kiosk, so each child could emboss their license. Since spending uh, the summer of 2007 at the zoo, uh, the exhibit's been on display at various venues and attractions, such as the Iowa State Fair, uh, Living History Farms in Des Moines, the Des Moines Science Center, the Grout Museum in Waterloo, and Exarbon in Omaha. 
It's now permanently residing at the Heartland Acres Agribition Center in Independence, Iowa. And it was recently refurbished, so it's looking uh, very uh, special right now and, and brand new. So we're very pleased with that. Um, I have to say the exhibit has been a big success, and it continues to do an excellent job of educating the public on the value of livestock manure. Uh, we didn't really do any formal evaluations, but we've received very favorable feedback from each venue that has hosted the exhibit. Uh, they've all been excited to have it and feel it's really well received by children and adults. Well, thank you for your time um, and attention.